In a perfect world, we'd start saving in our 20s as soon as we entered the workforce. But for whatever reason, some people, myself included, get off to a late start. So whether you're in your 30s, your 40s, or even your 50s, and you're behind on retirement savings, you can catch up. Exactly how to do it is what we're getting into today. Hi, and welcome back to Stop Being Sold. My name is Michelle, and I'm here with Brian. And in this video, we're looking at a few proven strategies to catch up on retirement savings no matter where you are in your savings journey. Plus, we're going to share ways to come up with money for these strategies. Yeah, Michelle, over my 24 years as a financial advisor, I can tell you the number of people who contacted me and said, Brian, I'm way behind. What do I do? I always tell them it's never too late to start saving for retirement. You start where you are, you make a plan and go from there. Yeah, well, always better late than never. Exactly. All right, well, let's get to it. What's the first strategy? Okay, this one's real obvious, but it's the number one way to get caught up, and that is to increase your contribution limits. And if you're over age 50, take advantage of the catch-up contributions. Mm -hmm. The best way is to catch up is to max out your contributions, and this is easier if you only have an IRA. Sure. For 2023, you can contribute $6,500, and if you're over age 50, you can put in an additional $1,000 for a total of $7,500. For those though, with a 401k, it might be a bit harder to max out your contributions because it depends on how much you make and how much you can realistically contribute to that plan. Right. This year, Michelle, you can contribute up to $22,500 for a 401k. And if you're over age 50, you can put in an additional 7,500 for a total of $30,000. So, Start by seeing if you can increase your contributions by 2%, 3%, 5%, or even more. If you're thinking 2% isn't going to move the needle much, just remember, every little bit counts. Sure. And over time, right? It does. Over time. Time. Yeah. And if you're only able to contribute a small amount each month, it's better than nothing. Please take advantage of it. You know, the key is to make a plan and be consistent because time plus consistency builds wealth. Yes, it does. Yeah, I'm going to give you an example to show you just how quickly you can accumulate savings if you're consistent in your contributions. Okay. Okay. Let's say you're 42 years old today and you're able to max out your 401k contributions this year, 22,500 moving forward. Okay. Assuming a 7% return, you could have $1.2 million saved by age 65. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't factor in the employer match. So keeping with that example, what would it look like with a company match? Yeah, let's say your employer matched the first $3,000, okay? This number would then climb to one point th over $1.362 by the age of 65. Okay, so Brian, real quick, just so we're using the per example, 42-year-old, if you're maxing out this year, every year forward, assuming a 7% return, you're looking at $1.2 by age 65. And then if you add in, I mean, this is assuming um, you're – your employer matches the first 3k you're looking at 1.3 million yeah and uh, that is a wow. very low ball sure estimation because here's why you start at age 42 i didn't include the catch-up contributions starting at age 50 50 right and if you delay That's an initial retirement a year, year as of this year right right all right so what if you have an ira let's do the math there okay let's say uh if you're 37 and okay. you max out your contributions this year moving forward. You just assume a 7% return. You could have 567000 saved by age 65. Not bad. No. And there's, good, there's numerous retirement savings calculators out there online. I encourage you to go out there and play with them and see how much you can save. And we're going to drop a calculator tool below that we like to use yeah. like we used in the description. Um, yeah. Above. It'll be in that in description example. below. <laughs> yeah. And one thing before we move on, if you have a 401k, do whatever you can to get that company match. It's like free money. Also, it's critical to know your vesting schedule inside that 401k. If you change jobs and all that free money you receive through your company match may not be yours to keep. Yeah. You can call your HR department and ask them what your vesting schedule is. And do it now. Do it now. Especially with everybody moving jobs. Uh, oh, yeah. It's really important to know why, why put all that money in there and just not to have it go with exactly you. all right so what's the second tip to quickly uh, catch up 
this is this is this is a, a, not alarming but a concerning one. Okay, that I've seen over my career. Don't prioritize saving for your child's education over your retirement savings. Yeah, you know they, we all want to though. You know the majority sure. of students' uh, undergraduate bill is paid by their parents. And with 43% of the cost being covered by parents' income and savings and 8% coming from monies that parents have borrowed. And this is according to a 2022 report by Sally May, which is the private student loan lender. At the end of 2022, federal data showed that the total parent student loan debt is $108.5 billion and it, there was 3.7 million actual borrowers. That's just federal loans. That's that doesn't even include that. The data you just shared doesn't include private loans or tapping into your savings, does it? No, uh, that's just the federal loans that the parents have taken. <sighs> a out. lot, not including HELOCs or personal loans sure. or credit cards or whatever it may be. You know, look, I'm a parent and a grandparent, and I get wanting to help your kid have a better sure. future because it's all about them. It's about their life moving forward, right? But if you're behind on your retirement savings, you need to put your future before your kids and prioritize retirement planning. There are various options for financial education, but there are no loans or grants given to you for your retirement. Good Think point. of it this way. <laughs> if you help your kids out and put your own future second, you may be, end up only living on Social Security and have nothing in retirement. And most likely you'll be a burden on your kids, which defeats the whole purpose of wanting to help them now have a better life so that they can, you know, have more than you did. Exactly. So, all right. So that tip, got it. Let's move on to the third one. Open a Roth IRA. One uh, of my favorites. Not a shocker. You put this one in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's no secret to those who watch our videos that I love the Roth IRA. Um, here's, here's, here's why in this situation. With the Roth IRA, contributions are non-tax deductible, but withdrawals are tax-free in retirement. Try to max this out after you hit your 401k max contributions. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot, but this is your retirement. Okay. All right. Anything else on that one or can we move on to tip four? No, let's go to the fourth one. Okay. What is it? Um, this is not a popular one. But it may be necessary if you don't want to destitute, uh, be destitute in retirement. Mm. Find the extra income to increase your retirement contributions, whether it's an IRA or 401k, you need to make up some tough, tough choices. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to tell you to go get a side job or a side hustle, but you may need to make some major lifestyle changes like reevaluating your housing situation. If you're spending too much on housing, which is one of the largest expenses out there. And it's it could make up. it impossible to save money for your future. Sure. You know, consider it if it makes sense to move into something cheaper or smaller. Look for alternative ways to reduce your housing costs, such as getting a roommate or charging rent to an adult child living with you. There you go. Um, that works. Um, another option is to temporarily po postpone family vacations. Take that money that you would have spent on the trip and put all of it towards your retirement. Yeah, you're talking about major lifestyle changes. You know, I was behind and mm -hmm. on my retirement years and years ago, I cut subscriptions, dinners out with friends. Uh, I found ways to save on my car insurance and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I stopped buying anything I didn't need. And it freed up hundreds of dollars a month, which then I put toward what I was already saving for retirement. And it sucked. In the at the time, but now I'm glad I did it. Yeah. I've also had uh, clients focus on increasing their income sure. to get caught up while cutting back. Sure. Um, doing this can make a significant difference in how much you can save quickly. Consider getting a part-time job or exploring other opportunities to earn extra money like uh, like a side hustle, but it be let it be something that you like doing. Sure. So it's not like it's a job to you. So, yeah. And um, if you're over 50, you may need to postpone retirement and work a little bit longer. Yeah. Delaying retirement can give you more time to save and allow your retirement funds to grow a little bit longer. Yeah. And that's something with those retirement calculator, the retirement calculator we will put below. Um, yes. It's fun to go in there and go, okay, if I 65, 66, right. 67, and you can really see how one year, one year and six months, two years will make. Right. Could make a drastic difference. Absolutely. Yeah. Play with them calculators because they're, they're fun to play with. So they are fun. <laughs> All right. So uh, what's the last and final tip to catch up quickly on retirement savings? 
get professional help. I know financial advisors aren't widely popular, especially uh, among those 40 and under, but actually they can help a lot. And here's the thing. There's a disconnect between what we think they will need during our retirement and what the actual cost of retirement actually is. Underestimating your retirement needs can lead to financial difficulties, forcing you to rely on Social Security or other sources of income to make ends meet later on in life. Yeah. You know, working with a financial advisor could get a better sense of what you need and help you get a plan together might be worth it. So um, they can make help make recommendations based on your current situation and hopefully get you on track. So, you know, that's a, you mentioned something there. There's a disconnect between what we think we're going to need and what we're actually going to need. Right. I encourage everyone what really got me off my butt when I was like, I want to go do this trip. I want to go out with friends. I was cutting back in order to put that extra money towards my savings was go do the research right now on what it costs to live in retirement. And, you know, it's one of those things it, you're, it's easier to then make those sacrifices when you realize that you might not even be able to afford electricity or rides to the doctor. Right. Yeah. What if inflation goes back to the all-time highs we had last summer and it was your first year of retirement? Right. Yeah, not pretty. No. All right, so here's the deal. We're going to drop a link to a video we did on why the Roth IRA might not be the best for all investors. Now, I know, Brian, you said what? open a Roth, but we really <laughs> want you to go check that one out because yeah. Brian likes the Roth. I love the Roth. A lot of people do, but it doesn't mean it's right for everyone. So Go check that out. And if you like the content of this video and you made it this far, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave us comments. Tell us how you're saving or you're trying to catch up, what you're doing. Um, share with others because we're all in this together and it's uh, we all need to be saving more than we do. It's yes. Into that. All right. Brian, anything else you want to add? Nope. Good? That's it. It's about your retirement. You got one chance at it. Let's do it. You do. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. And uh, until next time, have a good one. Have a great day.